What's going on guys? Today I'm bringing you guys the best PC graphics settings for Season 5, the brand new season in Warzone. Today we're going to be trying to get you guys the max FPS with the best visuals possible in the brand new season. But let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into this video. First thing you're going to do if you're on a PC, you're going to go into Google Chrome if you're using Google Chrome, which is the best internet browser you can possibly use. Click on the three little dots on the right, go down to settings, and then it'll bring you into the settings. Then click system, and then make sure we disable continue running background apps when Google Chrome is closed. So this gives you a little bit more performance and not allow you to have any other background apps that are running that'll take up uh, GPU or CPU usage. After the background app settings, we're gonna go down to the search bar. We're gonna look up power and sleep settings. From here, you wanna click on additional power settings and make sure this is on high performance. If you have a pretty mid to high end PC, if you have a lower end PC, I would probably recommend balanced. Uh, this will help you a little bit more if you just don't have the GPU or CPU usage. You can try ultimate perform performance. I haven't used it uh, myself. I just don't want my GPU and CPU to be extremely hot all the time. So high performance is a great sweet spot for me. And the final part of our window settings is going to be mouse and keyboard settings, actually just the mouse settings. So if you guys don't use a mouse and keyboard, use a controller, you can skip over this part, go to the next part. But if you are using a mouse, Make sure to go to mouse settings or you want to try a mouse mouse settings additional mouse options pointer options and make sure you guys turn off enhanced pointer precision this is an accelerated uh precision thing and makes you uh, not be as accurate throughout the entire uh process of moving your mouse so make sure to turn that off if you guys want to use a mouse and keyboard next we're gonna get into our nvidia control panel settings to get to this make sure to right click on the desktop click on the nvidia control panel or you can search it up in the search bar and from here we're gonna go to manage 3d settings which is the most important settings in this little uh window from here, just copy and paste all of the settings. I'll go through pretty slow. You guys can uh, stop it as we go, but just copy them exactly as I have them. Obviously some stuff like the Nvidia uh, RTX 380 is gonna be a little different because you might have a different graphics card, but everything should still be pretty uh, close to the same. If you guys have a Radeon graphics card, um, I don't know a whole lot about Radeon graphics cards, but there's definitely a ton of videos on uh, how to do that. From here, we wanna go to change resolution once you get all those set. Make sure that you guys have whatever monitor you guys are using for gaming as the one selected. And make sure the refresh rate is at its max. I use a 1440p 144 hertz monitor, so that's the one I'm using. And then don't change any of these settings unless they're on default color settings. And you can change the NVIDIA settings here to these. Uh, we have highest at 32 bit for the desktop color depth, output color depth, ABC, RGB, and then full uh, range dynamics. From here, go to adjust desktop color settings. Okay, and the only thing that I have changed on here is the digital vibrance and made it from 50 to 59. I used to use 75, it was a little too bright for me. Um, so just a little bit of a boost will help me be able to see like the dark parts of Warzone maps or maybe the dark uh, skins like the rose skin uh, that you really can't see in dark areas. So that's the only thing I would change here. And then from here, now we're gonna get to the Warzone settings in the game. So before we get into any in-game settings for Warzone, we're gonna look over NVIDIA filters. Now, while the NVIDIA filters uh, make the game look extremely well, um, it does hurt your FPS performance a little bit. So I have actually stopped using them as of recent because I stream uh, twice and record all my same system. So it kind of hurts my stuff a little bit. But when I'm playing offline, I do like to use the NVIDIA filter. So to get to the NVIDIA filters, we're gonna hit Alt-Z, go to game filters, and then go, I have a preset already. But for here, you want to have the details. This will be your, your first one. Sharpen 50%, Clarity 56, HDR toning 50, Bloom 0%. And then for the color, we want to go to just add the tint, add the tint intensity, but don't add anything to them. Temperature, same, don't add anything to the temperature. And then put the vibrance a little bit up. You can add it a little bit down. I like to go about 75 to 80, somewhere around there. Um, and then we're going to do brightness and contrast get this down real quick brightness and contrast from here you want to add exposure contrast highlights shadows and gamma i bring the exposure down just a little bit the contrast up just a little bit highlights up a little bit shadows all the way down to minus 80 percent and then the gamma you add it but don't add anything to it okay so those are the things that i use for uh my nvidia filters now they look the make game looks a whole lot better but my fps does take a pretty big hit with this but let's get straight into these war zone settings in game starting out with the warzone in game settings uh, i'll start with keyboard and mouse if you guys want to use my sensitivity i use 1.548 with 1600 dpi on my mouse um, this allows me to be in the center of my track mat go all the way to the right do a uh, 360 or go all the way from to the left and do a full 360 again so this kind of helps that's my that's my sensitivity um try it out for you guys trying mouse and key but from here let's get into the graphic settings uh for display mode i use full screen 
Uh, this helps with a little bit more with uh, FPS. If you're alt tabbing a lot, you can use full screen borderless. I kind of usually use that if I'm streaming, but for just playing, I like to go full screen. Uh, make sure the resolution is at whatever your uh, monitor is. Mine's at 1440p. Uh, screen refresh rate 140. Uh, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 is what I'm using. Make sure the monitor is the same and the graphics card is the same that you're using. Dynamic resolution disabled. Uh, dynamic resolution frame rate target zero, or 60. Aspect ratio, I do automatic because I don't have a stretch monitor or anything. Disable VSync. Custom frame rate is what I use. I like to have my uh, pregame lobby at 60 FPS and then whatever my max FPS is for my monitor is what I usually set it at as. Uh, brightness 50, display gamma 2.2, NVIDIA highlights disabled, NVIDIA reflex latency uh, enabled. You can enable boost, but it takes a little bit more of the G GPU draw, so I just keep it on enabled. From here, we're gonna to go to quality. Field of view, I like 110. I'm not a huge fan of the 120. It looks very, very far away. So 110 is my sweet spot. Um, I don't use anything of the advanced. Okay, we use the effective ADS, but that's kind of normal, I feel like, for most uh, uh, PC gamers. So um, don't use independent, use affected. Camera movement, uh, use 50%. This will help you with any camera movement when you're like running and sliding and stuff like that. Uh, details and textures, render resolution 100%. That's what you want it at. Don't want it any lower. It's going to look really uh, dull and like greeny, almost like 8 bit. Streaming quality, I go normal. Texture resolution, normal. And remember, guys, this is for the most FPS possible, um, but still keeping as much quality as you possibly can. So I could max these out and make the quality extremely well, or I could make these as slow as possible and get as much FPS as I possibly could, but the game wouldn't look as good. So here's what I use just to kind of get that good balance. Uh, normal particle quality high bullets uh, impact and spray I like to have that enabled so I know where everything is going tessellation enabled uh, Disemberment and gore effects enabled because I like to see the uh, the rated M uh, stuff on-demand textures just standard From here we're gonna go to the pros uh, post processing film strength one film grain zero NVIDIA DLSS uh, Disabled I could actually uh, make it quality and get a little more FPS, but I usually get my 144 without having to do anything, so I don't really need it. And it takes a little bit more GPU draw. Uh, Anti-aliasing, um, SMA1X. I don't really know the difference of these. Uh, it's the one I've been using for ever now. Depth of field, uh, enabled. This will help you out, be able to see a little bit more um, of the out of focus blur. Motion blur disabled, weapon motion blur disabled. This is the ugliest um, setting in the world. All of my shadows, every single one of them, as low as possible. Take the shadows off, shadows kill FPS. From there, we're gonna go to interface. Um, this is kind of actually personal preference. One thing I've always used, whether I was this game or on Fortnite, I use this. The Deuteronopia colorblindness uh, is the best one. You can see a lot more colors. Um, I'm not colorblind, but I like to use it. Um, mini, uh, mini shape, I keep mine square, so because there's more surface area. Rotation, I like to keep that enabled so I know exactly where I'm looking straight uh, on this. And then these, the rest of these are kind of like personal preference. Um, text chat, you can enable it, all that jazz. Um, I have my FPS, latency, GPU, CPU time, GPU time, and packet loss all enabled down here. So I know if, if anything is going wrong with my PC, I know what's causing that. So, yep, those are the interface settings. Now to audio, I just have one setting that you guys have to have to use. Boost low helps you hear footsteps. It's actually incredible. This, this has actually been a game changer as of late. I changed this probably three to four weeks ago, and I've been able to hear a ton more um, footsteps above me, below me, to the side of me. It's actually insane. I keep the music all the way down because the music is very uh, annoying, and um, when you're riding in cars, you can get DM DMCA strikes and all that jazz, so I don't want to have that happen. Hit marker sound effects, Modern Warfare, because it's my favorite hit marker sound effect. And then you kind of go through the rest of these. Um, push a talk. This is just all personal preferences. Uh, voice check, keep mine a little bit higher so I can hear everybody. And yeah, and then if you guys have controller settings, I'm not your guy. I've been using a mouse and key for quite a while, so I don't have those anymore. But those are all the settings, guys. I hope you guys enjoy them. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, like the video, and comment down below if you wanna see more videos like this. And we're gonna get into some loadout videos, so make sure to stick around for that. Thank you guys so much for the, watching the video, and I'm out. Deuces.